In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to clean your binoculars coming up right after this. Hi guys, my name is Eddie, I'm a biologist, and on this channel I teach you how to find, photograph, and identify wildlife, so if that's something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you're a birder, or maybe you own a pair of binoculars for another reason, and your binoculars are dirty, and you want to know the right way to clean your binoculars. And you actually want to make sure that you clean your binoculars the right way, because if you don't clean your binoculars the right way, you can actually do more harm than good to your binoculars. So in this video, I'm just gonna walk you through step by step how to clean your binoculars. I'm gonna show you all the materials that you need. And this is also probably the most boring topic of a video I've ever made. It's a very important video because it's something that you need to know how to do. However, it's just such a dry topic. So we're gonna take a break right in the middle of the video and we're gonna go out on an adventure into nature for a minute or two and then uh, we're gonna come back and resume. So before I jump in into this step-by-step -step process on how to actually clean your binoculars, I'm first gonna give you a few pieces of advice. Um, one thing you should know is that if you're out in nature using your binoculars for birding or for whatever other reason, your binoculars are going to get dirty over time. There's gonna be dust that accumulates on the lenses, both on the eyepiece and the objective lens. And my first piece of advice is to just do everything you can to keep that dust from accumulating. Pretty much all binoculars that they sell these days have these uh, covers for the eye cups. When you're out in the field and you're not actually using them, you just wanna slip these on the eye cups. They also have cups for the objective lens, which I don't have mine on right now, but um, I would say keep those on whenever possible. When you're not out in the field, you gotta also make sure that your binoculars are stored away in their case, uh, because even at home, indoors, there can be dust that can accumulate on the lens as well. Protecting your binoculars as much as possible from dust in the first place will make it so that you don't have to clean your binoculars as often because the less often that you clean your binoculars, the better it is for the lenses. And that brings me to my second tip, which is try not to clean your binoculars too often. Only do it when you really need to do it. Lenses on binoculars have these coatings which make the images more clear. So every time you clean your binoculars, you're actually going to remove at least a small bit of that coating and potentially scratching the lens at least a little bit. And that's gonna affect the quality of your image. So I would say that if you are going birding in a familiar place, you know all the birds and you're focusing primarily on photography, let's say, and you're only using your binoculars here and there, I would say don't really clean your binoculars that often, but if you're going on a big trip to a brand new place where you don't know any of the birds and you really need some crisp, clear looks at them through your binoculars, I would say, yeah, definitely clean your binoculars really frequently while you're on that trip so you can maximize your birding experience. Now my next piece of advice is definitely do not use any random cloths to clean your lenses. What you wanna do, I'm gonna show you the materials, but you wanna make sure that you use a microfiber cloth that's designated to clean off lenses because if you just use your t-shirt, that's not the right material, it can, uh, it can damage the lens. So make sure that you use material that's meant to clean off lenses when you clean off your lenses. So right here I have a whole lens cleaning kit for you guys. Uh, the first thing I have is a squeeze bulb, and then I have a lens cleaning pen with uh, this brush on one end, and I have a felt tip on the other end, and then I have my microfiber cloth, I have my lens cleaning fluid, and then I also have these lens tissue papers which are not really necessary, but you can also use these as well. So as you can see, my binoculars are pretty dirty and there's a lot of dust on there, there's a lot of oil on there. So my first step is I'm gonna take the squeeze bulb and blow air onto the lenses so I blow off as much dust as I can off of the lenses. So I'm gonna, you know, I'll do this for about five, 10, 20 seconds. I got the objective lenses, then I got the eyepieces. All right, so I don't really know how much that step actually does, but any more dust, I'll try to get with this. So again, this is my lens cleaning pen. First, I'm going to use the brush side. I'm just gonna brush off the lens here. Take a few seconds. 
And apparently this brush is specially made so that it catches all these tiny little dust particles. So my next step is I'm gonna take the other end of my lens pen which has a felt tip. I'm gonna rub that felt tip on the lenses uh, to try to remove as much oil as I can from the lenses. If you don't have a felt tip, that's no big deal. You can skip this step um, because in the next step when we use the microfiber cloth, um, hopefully you'll be able to get all of the oil off of the lenses. So this is just sort of a preliminary step that's not really that necessary, but if you do have this, then I would recommend just rubbing it on the lenses enough to, to get off as much oil as you can. And while you're doing this too, as you notice, my mouth is pretty close to the lens, which is probably not that smart. You want to make sure that you don't breathe on the lens because, you know, you can breathe stuff on the lenses and make them dirty again. So just going to take a minute to finish this up. So before I get on to the last step, let's take a break and let's go on a little adventure. It's kind of early in the morning. I'm still trying to wake up here and I'm hearing a lot of great birds. There are lots of Pacific Slope flycatchers, which are a very beautiful and Pitamax flycatcher. There's an acorn woodpecker right at the top of that dead snag up there. I'm also hearing blue gray gnat catchers, Anna's hummingbird, lots of yellow warblers, common yellow throats. There's also a black-headed grosbeak singing, which is a really beautiful bird. There's a beautiful little house run hopping in the scrub down here. I just saw some California scrub jays. I saw some bush tits. There are tons of cliff swallows all around me. So in this lagoon, we have a great egret over there. We have a mother coot with her children over here. I did not actually wake up that early. I got here about two hours after sunrise, which is kind of late for birding. However, the nice thing about today is that the weather forecast is overcast all day long. Um, so with just complete cloud cover, it'll keep the temperature very moderate. It is late June right now, and in Southern California, we actually call this June gloom, which is just kind of this lingering cloud cover all day where it never burns off, where you can't see the sun. A lot of people in San Diego complain about it because, you know, they want the sunshine that they expect in Southern California. But for birding, it can be pretty good because the birds will be more active throughout the day just because it won't get quite as hot in the middle of the day. Right now, I have an amazing look at a grasshopper sparrow just perched right out in the middle of the open. Grasshopper sparrows around here are usually really secretive, so that is really special. And I would say this is definitely my birding highlight of the morning. And now the sun is starting to come out. So I'm gonna start to head back because I'm starting to get hot. man I'm back in the car gonna head back home to finish the boring part of this video all right guys well I hope you enjoyed that adventure um, if you guys want more adventures like that feel free to subscribe to the channel again I teach you how to find photograph and identify wildlife I also do all kinds of wildlife vlogs where I teach you about natural history show you some cool ecotourism opportunities so again feel free to subscribe now on to the last step of cleaning your binoculars which is using the microfiber cloth. So, so what you wanna do is you wanna take your lens cleaning fluid and spray a few sprays onto the microfiber cloth. All right, so it's just, you know, kinda of damp, kinda of moist, not super soaked. And then you clean 
the objective lenses. And then you want to do the same thing to the eyepieces. And this is when you should be removing all of the oil off of the lenses. Okay, any oil that you didn't get off with that felt tip in the previous step, if you did that step. And then all you gotta do is just let them dry off for a few minutes and then you're good. And you definitely wanna make sure that you are using lens cleaning solution. Don't use water or you know any other type of random solution. You wanna make sure you're using uh, a type of solution that's specifically made to clean lenses. I would also recommend taking these disposable lens wipes with you out into the field. I think these are good if you have like fingerprints on your lens, you can just really quickly clean them off. But again, don't use your shirt, don't use any other material other than a microfiber cloth or a disposable lens wipe or something else that's meant to clean off lenses because otherwise you can damage your lens. The brand for this lens cleaning kit is Insignia. There are many types of uh, optical companies, camera companies that make lens cleaning kits. And to be honest, I don't think it really matters what brand you buy it from, they're all the same. To buy a lens cleaning kit like this, it's really not that expensive. Um, definitely worth the investment. And I'm actually gonna post some Amazon links to these kits uh, right below this video. So if you just want a quick and easy way to check these out on Amazon, you can click those links below. If you guys have any more questions about anything, feel free to post in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a good time out in the field with some clean binoculars.